Now, imagine you're pregnant. Imagine you're looking forward to Christmas and you think you've got, well, another 12, 14 weeks to go. Everything's tickety-boo. No, uh, your child is born. Your child is born just after Christmas in that sort of twilight zone that exists between Christmas and New Year. Totally unexpected. And your little girl, when born, weighs less than a bag of sugar, less than two pounds. Well, that's what happened to our guest this morning. And Kirsty from Emerson Screen is with us here live in the studio. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you so much for coming in. And I think the important thing to, to, to say is that little Faith, your daughter, is home. Yep. Home for Christmas this year. So you'd, you've been in hospital for four weeks having had your waters broke. Yep. Without being too crude, I would imagine your waters breaking must have been a heck of a shock to you. You yeah. probably didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it was a massive shock because I always thought, like, oh, my God, once your waters break, that's it. Like, yeah. you are in, you give birth straight after. Had you sort of come to terms with the fact that Faith was going to be OK, your little girl that was going to be a fail, or, or were you lying in bed thinking... I, I was thinking the worst. Yeah, thinking something's going to go wrong. Yeah. Because they told me, they said to me that um, you can terminate her because you have a high risk of getting infections. But That must have been a dreadful thing to hear. Yeah, I just said, no, I'm not terminating her. I can still feel her move. Mm. So I just kept on. And then here she is now. Exactly. And yeah. she's home. I, I, I was reading this morning um, that, you know, she's a healthy weight now as well. Yeah, she is um, really heavy. She's uh, just over a stone. She's 16 pound okay. now. So there you are. You've been in hospital for four weeks. You've had your waters break. You fought for your baby. Did you know what it was at that stage? Did you know it was a little girl, a little boy? Yeah, or... I actually had a private scan at 16 weeks. So you knew that you were expecting a daughter. So I knew it daughter. was a girl, yeah. You knew you were expecting a daughter. And now you're in a delivery suite and we're at how many weeks now? 26 weeks in one day. It's amazing, isn't it? You know the day as well. 26 yeah. weeks, you're counting the, clocking off the days. You yeah, know. I was. Is she cooked yet? Is yeah. she cooked yet? Every um, day was a bonus. But of course it would be because obviously day makes every day makes it more and more viable. It makes it safer, doesn't it? Because yeah. it, it, it's ticking off. This may seem like a very strange question. When she was born, were you happy? It was just more a shock, I think, because I never expected to have... A... At 26 weeks and one day, you don't expect to give birth. No. But, but it should be, you know, whatever. When a child is born, it should be a happy experience. Yeah, it was more frightening because I just thought the next few weeks is crucial. Yes, the next couple of hours is crucial. Yeah. Like, is she going to stay alive? Like, I didn't know what was going to happen.